Hey everybody, y'all here. Thank you for joining me today. Love and respect to all of you guys for joining me. The new subscribers as well. My subscribers went up. I appreciate that you guys like the content I'm posting. And today we're going to be reviewing the race movie, the Jesse Owens biopic. All right. So let's jump into the summary. And it's time for the summary. This movie is about the greatest track and field athlete in history. That's right. This movie is about Jesse Owens, the man that was once the fastest on earth. The man that made history at the 1953 Berlin Olympics to win gold medals. This film gives us a look inside the successful life of a black man in the United States in the 50s and 60s. At a time the United States wasn't racially accepting or integrated. Jesse Owens competed in the greatest games on earth, the Olympics. The film places a huge emphasis on that part of his life. That's the summary of the film, guys. Biopic on Jesse Owens, 1953 Berlin Olympics, and he wins gold medals, but there's a lot more that goes into it. That's the summary. Next, on to the pros. It's time for the pros. The pros about this film is the length, the captivating track scenes, and the inspiration and motivation it leaves you with. The film wasn't a wham bam thank you ma'am kind of film. This film was a 2 hour and 14 minute thank you ma'am kind of film. It was so thrilling that it only felt like an hour and a half but you definitely feel like you got your money's worth at the end. The track scenes and big events shown in the film were mind blowing and spine chilling. When you get goosebumps when you're watching a film multiple times, that's how you know the film's good. And trust me, there were a numerous amount of times I got goosebumps. The music for this film, also known as original score, was perfect and came together so nicely with the cinematography that it made you feel like you were running alongside Jesse Owens or you were one of the people in the crowd watching him make history. The movie showed America's dark history with race issues back then and the hurdles we have ahead of us as a country. There were multiple scenes of discrimination and racism to show the viewer what it was like to be a black man or woman to live in America at a time where the color of your skin was not accepted anywhere. It also showed how African Americans in the United States had a similar dilemma like the Jewish in Germany at the time of the Hitler regime. Jesse was not only running for his people, but he was running for all those around the world that faced adversity and wanted justice. Whether that be Jewish, African American, gay, green, blue, yellow, it doesn't matter. He represented everyone and everything that was ever treated unfairly and fighting for justice. Those are the pros of the film and that resonated with me and I'm sure if you watch it, it's definitely going to resonate with you. But there were some cons of the film. You know, not every film is perfect, it's always going to get criticism, constructive, whatever it may be, but not every film is perfect. And now we're on to the cons. It's time for the cons. Lack of humanity, that's the only con to this film. Now what do I mean? I mean that the film didn't go in depth about Jesse Owens' personal life, but rather just his athletic side. That's what they focused on. They did show some scenes with his immediate family and his wife and his daughter, but they really mostly focused on the track and the field aspect of his life. It didn't allow me to see Jesse Owens as a God-gifted human being that overcame adversity, but they rather let me see him as just a machine that ran when his coach said run, sort of like a pet. Jesse was his own man and made his own decisions, and I wish the movie would have shown more of that. It's the only con to this film, guys. He was more of like a pet or a machine in the film. Anytime the coach said run, he ran. Um, they did show some scenes where he got to make his own decisions, but more so the whole film was based around him just listening to the coach and following orders, and I wish they would have gave him more liberty in terms of that. But Jesse Owens was his own person and his own man, and they should have gave him that, that um, character or character... They should give him, you know what I'm trying to say. Basically, they should let him get more freedom and make decisions on his own instead of just listening to the coach. And you'll see that within the film and you'll remember, ah, this is what Yao was talking about. But anyway, on to Yao's judgment. I'll tell you what I think of the movie as a whole, all right? Whether you should see it or not. And is it worth your 13 bucks? And we are at the last stop, Yao's judgment. So some of you are probably saying, why would I want to see a movie about a track star named Jesse Owens that won a few gold medals, winning a few races? People win medals and awards all the time in sports. What's the big whoop? But Jesse Owens didn't just win a gold medal. He won four at the Berlin Olympics in 1953. The reason why Jesse Owens is so special is because he competed in Germany at the time when Hitler was in power. Hitler's ideology was the Aryan race was the most powerful and pure race on earth and superior to all races. At the 1953 Berlin Olympics, Hitler was set out to prove that and by competing against other countries, especially the United States. And guess who went over there to represent the United States against Germany? That's right, Jesse Owens. No other than Jesse Owens. The United States sent him over as an athletic warrior. 
to defeat Hitler and his regime. Inspirational, motivational, sensational, all mixed in one. And I'm gonna give this film a 9.5 out of 10 because that's what it deserves and that's what it's gonna get, baby. That's what it's gonna get. So if you guys didn't see this movie, go and check it out now. If you need motivation in your life, you need inspiration in your life, you need sensation in your life, this is the film for you. Trust me, you won't regret two hours and 14 minutes long. How can you go wrong? Man, I'm starting to rhyme a lot. But anyway, how can you go wrong with that? You can't go wrong, all right? 9.5 out of 10, we'll close it out. But before I leave you guys, love and respect to all of you, like I always say. And another thing is, comment and subscribe for more content if you want to see more later on, all right, guys? I love all of you guys. I respect all of you guys. I'm out. I got organic chemistry tests coming out. I got to go.